Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, according to the old atomic clock here, it's about 10 to 2. It is the 3rd of October, 2015. Welcome to Saturday. Um, 51 degrees. It says 52. This one says 10.8 Celsius and 71% humidity. Yeah, the, uh, got a little fall weather going on here. And with the rain, obviously, my battery's not fully charged. <clears throat> Rainy day, hard to kind of get out and do much because we got that hurricane coming up. Um, the East Coast, though it's supposed to miss us, I'd rather not take all kinds of stuff out uh, than have to deal with that and getting rained on. So, kind of a little bit of an inside project or a, a comment or, you know, another eBay deal perhaps. Let me show you what I'm uh, playing with. Um... You guys know that I'm always kind of interested in uh, LED stuff. And I found these on eBay. And if you want them, they're less than $10 each. LED floodlight, outdoor, 10 watt. That's all the particulars. It says it's good for 900 lumen. Um, I think that's a little bit... Uh, the other details. Um, you can see the input voltage there. If I don't have the glare, anywhere between 90 and 240 volts. This is what they look like when you slide them out of the box. This is pretty tough. Because the guy didn't package it very well and it didn't break. Um, I bought two of them. Uh, you could, once again, you could. I bought these without the plug, and I'm not sure quite why I did that. That was stupid of me. It's like an extra buck for the plug. I should have got them with the plug. Anyway, between the blue, I made the blue 110. I made the brown neutral, and I made the green and yellow. Uh, ground, so that's the way I did it. Um, well, let me show you what they look like. What I have here, I mean, it's lit up. I got the cool, um, or not the cool, I got the warm white. You can see it's kind of uh, from my screen, it looks a tad yellow. Um, once again, less than 10 bucks. What I did was I put, I cut the cord off this microwave here that's on its way to the trash. And I put it on here. Um, this is all shrink wrap. What I did was I just did the old twisted wire really tight on the connection, shrink wrapped them, and then put shrink wrap over the whole thing. Um, this garage has no windows in it except the one into the house down there. So it's um, even during the daylight, it's virtually um, black, dark in here. And what I did was this is a 60 watt bulb and I guess you really can't see how much light it's putting out. Oh, there you go. You can see about how much light it's putting out. Um, so that's a 60 watt bulb. 60 watts, I don't know, 550 lumen. Not that it really matters. I just, and then uh, turning that off and this thing, right? Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the exact same angle. I really don't want to drop it on the floor and see how well it breaks. But, I don't know. This is also, I had them both lit. 
though this one was aimed in the other direction, but I don't know, perhaps about the same amount of light, maybe 60 watts is slightly more. I don't know, whatever you guys think. Um, I personally think, I mean, they're nice and compact, and once again, I didn't put my my meter on them, my watt meter, to see that they truly only burn 10 watts. But, I mean, they're compact, and I'd imagine, you know, if you like working on a lathe or something, and you put them right, right there. It also says um, they could do outdoors. So, for those of us who play with this kind of junk and try to have a decent workshop to get some stuff done, lighting is obviously a piece of that. Or if somebody wants to create lighting outside or, or something like, like that, I think, I think these things could come in quite handy. Um, they also sell them in bright white. And instead of 900 lumen, you would get um, you would get a thousand. So that's 10 percent brighter if you get them in bright white instead of warm. Um, the other thing is you can also get them such that they do colors with a little remote control thing. You just push a button and it changes all kinds of colors. Um, but that's a little more expensive. They're not $10 each. I think they're closer to $15. You find them right on eBay, right? Just type 10 watt outdoor floodlight or LED floodlight, any of those things, and you won't, you won't miss them. Um, so from the point of view of, I don't, I don't know if the little remote control turns them on and off. If the little remote control turns them on and off, from a color point of view, who cares? What you'd be more interested in is the ability to turn them on and off. Um, just searching through my memory now, I'm not thinking the remote control did turn them on and off. I think the remote control was only for changing uh, colors. Um, these came from uh, China. Y you know, you get the little postal gig from China. And it took forever to get to me. I mean, it was four, five, six weeks. It, it, it was to the point where I was sending messages to the guy... Um, you know, are you sending these to me? And he's like, oh, I shipped them four or five weeks ago. And I'm like, I haven't gotten them in four or five weeks. You're going to send me a duplicate. And two weeks more went by of him, you know, ducking my questions. So um, it was beyond the should have received date. So I, you know, put in a, um, a concern with eBay, opened a um, incident report. Uh, saying, yo, I didn't get this, and uh, just so that, you know, he can't say, well, you should have told me before two months went by, right? Um, and about, you, you know, as all this went on, it was about a week and a half after I opened that, that it finally, uh, they finally showed up. So I recommend ordering them from a U.S. supplier. I mean, they're going to be made in China no matter what, but if you order them from a U.S. supplier, um, my experience with 90% of the, yeah, 9 out of 10 items easily uh, with the U.S. suppliers. Typically, I get them in less than a week, no matter where they're coming from in the country. I typically get them, call it a week, 10 days on the outside if they really go cheap on the mail. But typically, typically within a week, I, I get most of my stuff. So I recommend buying them from a U.S. supplier. Um, so there we are. That's the LED light story. Um, we got the, uh, rain going on and the fall colors and stuff falling off the trees, right? Really just not very, not very colorful at all. I guess if you look in those woods right there, you're seeing a little yellow. There, last year... 
out this way. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that one tree, I get a pretty good, see it right there. Right, that one tree, we get some pretty decent color off of. This is already, this is dead, it needs to be cut down. So that's what I'm up to today. Um, seems like every time I step out and try start trying to do something, it kind of rains on me for a little while. So then I step back in and fool around with some other stuff. Um, that's it. Obviously, I have a lot I need to do, a lot I need to put away, a lot I need to get control of. And um, I'm not doing a very good job with that because to create space, you need space to sort stuff. Um, Musty One just did a, a good video of uh, he cleaned up a shed and it's like, oh, pff, clean up a shed. It's like watching paint dry. But he showed the way he did it. He got a big tarp and laid it out and put all his crap out on the tarp. And by that I mean all the stuff in the shed. I'm not insulting his stuff. It's just until you sort it, it's it's crap, right? If you can find it, it's valuable. If you can't find it, it's just crap taking up space. Um, but he he put all his stuff out there on a on a tarp, and then went through it one little little thing at a time, which really really makes makes a lot of sense because then you can put light things together. Um, at work, we have a periodic maintenance we have to do on equipment, and um, we put together kits at one point, and shelving, which was the right size for the kits, so the kit boxes fit nicely on the shelving, and before the preventive maintenance activity, we had people who would make sure the kits were full. They had everything in there they were supposed to have in there. They had nice checklists on top with part numbers and all that kind of stuff. So that when it was time to do one of these periodic PMs, you would just get a tote very similar to the one, you know, under my uh, box right there, right there, and right under my trailer, and walk up to the tool and pop the lid on the box and you know, go apart about your PM. Everything was in there except tools. It would have actually been handy if if the tools um, were perhaps right on the cover. So you lift the cover up and the tools are, are right there that you need. And when you're putting the kit away, you can look at the cover and make sure all the tools are still there. And then whatever's used out of the kit, whether it's an O-ring or piece of glass or ceramic or whatever, you can see that's in there or if it's broken or if it needs to be replaced or whatever, you could do all that. It used to save us a lot of time because if not, every time you needed to do a preventive maintenance activity, you would get this checklist and then start walking around in circles until you found the parts. And sometimes you would get cranky and say, you know, it took me so long to find these parts. Then you take the extra one and you put it in your toolbox. And before you know it, everybody puts the extra one in the toolbox. And now, unaccounted for inventory and all kinds of other crazy stuff, it's much easier to just grab a tote and do what you want to do. Um, to some extent, I really need, well, to some extent... In my mind, I keep wanting to do that, and uh, I just don't seem to be getting there. It's just handy to have everything, bang, right in one place. You pick it up, you use it, you put it all back in the box, especially if the box kind of is a form-molded box so that all your, your crap can go back in the same holes. All right, folks, um, started out talking about the LEDs, and as usual, I roamed off into God knows where. I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your tires down, keep your head up, and guys, get out there and enjoy all your days. Have some fun. And uh, if you can't see, get yourself some LED lighting. Take care now, folks. Bye.